Hi, I'm Rick. You are watching Running With Spoons, and this is a really quick, well, schooly bus hack because we got stranded and we finally found a really cool way of not being stranded. So this thing right here, this radiator, uh, that is the bane of our existence, the cause of all of our woes. Now there's a video that's gonna pop up above your head somewhere which gives you all the detail of how we figured this out. But we were overheating, we were overheating like crazy. And in addition to, well, learning how to drive a bus a little better, we did something that was kind of like a Frankenstein monstrosity, but it worked. Okay, I hope you're flexible because we gotta climb under the bus to show you something. This thing right here that you can't see because it's really dark, that's a bus heater. Why is there a bus heater under our bus? Well, it's not for heating, it's for cooling. That was the heater that was in the back of the bus. It's what kept all the kitties nice and warm during a cold winter's day. It was fed by coolant lines from the engine all the way back to the back of the bus. Now we yanked it out because, well, we don't have kitties in the back of the bus that we want to keep warm. And honestly, I didn't want the coolant lines in the way of everything else that I was putting in the wall. It's a heater, but it's also a cooler, which means when the coolant runs from the engine, engine through that little block, it's going to radiate heat. It's going to take all that excess heat that the engine doesn't know how to get rid of, and it's going to spew it out into the air. Now, it also has two fans on there, both with a low and a high setting, but we wired a switch up on the dashboard. It just sort of ran them both on high, and voila, whenever you're getting a little bit hot, you flick the switch, and it suddenly cools down everything. Now, does it work? <laughs> yeah, it really does work. Now, I wish I could take credit for this little invention. My son and law who is a professional bus mechanic came up with the idea what we were doing when we were driving the bus would suddenly start running high if we were driving way too fast and by high i mean it would get up around 205 210 215 220 at that range you're going to do damage to your engine it's supposed to hover around between 190 and 200 generally speaking well we put a bunch of well new parts into the bus and that helped a whole lot but when you're running non-stop on one of these things at 55 60 miles an hour especially if you're going a little uphill, it tends to get warm. When you hit that switch and you count to 60, it drops the temperature by a good 10 degrees. So why don't you use this all the time? A very good question. You could. The heater core that we stole from the back of the bus and put under the bus, it came with the bus. It was designed to use this. Now, when you flick that switch, a lot of power comes out. You watch the voltometer go, Whoop. It's sucking some amperage, and I guess we could do it all the time, but we don't need to. We drove all day yesterday at 55 miles an hour solid, and it never budged off of 190. It crept up a little bit, just once. I wanted to see what would happen. I clicked the switch, it went right back down. No, that's for high heat, high driving, oh, we really don't want the temperature of the bus to get too hot. Now, maybe your bus, maybe your bus runs a little hot and you're going to flip that switch a lot more than we do. I'm hoping I don't have to hit the switch, but it's really nice to know that you can if you need it.